So I'm here today, July 25th, 2009, and I'm at the Monowilly Experiment Station on the windward side of Oahu. And today we're gonna start an experiment to look at how we can manage large class albizia that's infesting this area using basal incision techniques. Some of you guys are more familiar with the frill cut or the hack and squirt. We're also gonna try with the drill and we're using a JK injection system that is self-contained. So I'll be using a quarter inch drill bit and going in flush at about six centimeters deep. And we're comparing this to the standard frill cut application using a cane knife. So the treatment formulation we'll be using today is milestone, which is the active ingredient aminopyrrolid. And each incision will receive a one mil application with this self-contained injector. For today's experiment, we're gonna look at a single chemical formulation, Milestone, with the active ingredient aminopyrrolid, and determine its efficacy on this invasive species, Albizia. And the treatment design we have set up is the two different types of incisions, the cut versus the drill, and the number of incisions per specimen, eight incisions versus four incisions. Now each incision will receive one ml of full concentrate uh, milestone. And so an eight incision treatment will receive twice the amount of chemical as the four incision treatment. The albizia selected for this experiment are what I would consider a larger class, mature stand that with an average uh, diameter at breast height of about 30 centimeters. You can see the canopy height is approximately 20 to 30 meters and with a canopy diameter of seven to eight meters. So we're back at Mono Willy, the site where we administered milestone to Albizia, and one week later, what we're already seeing for all treatments is massive defoliation. You can see the pinnate leaves of the Albizia covering the soil surface underneath the canopy where the trees were treated. We also notice increased light levels created by the exposed canopy of the treated Albizia. There's no appreciable difference so far between the frill cut and drill application. But what I'm noticing for both techniques is that there's not a lot of sap flow and so that suggests that there was excellent uptake of the herbicide by this species. So we're back at the Monowilly Experiment Station. It's August 7th, 2009. I'm here to administer another herbicide trial on Albizia, the large mature class. And we're gonna use a uh, slash and injection technique similar to our first trial. And in this trial today, we're gonna look at three different chemistries, 2,4-D and Garlon-4, which is triclopyr, and also our milestone formulation. And based on our previous experiment, we found that four incisions within uh, around the base of the plant was adequate for administering a strong dose to the tree. So we'll be administering the same dose rate of four incisions with a total of four milliliters of concentrate for our treatment design. And this experiment will be replicated four times. These trees appear to be about 30 meters tall with an average DBH of 25 to 30 centimeters. Welcome to another episode of Extreme Weed Control. Here behind me we have a Albizia specimen with a DBH of 150 centimeters. Now Albizia didn't become invasive until it lost its natural predators, the dinosaur. And so today we think we have a new formulation in Milestone that will assist in controlling Albizia in these environments. And so today we're going to use an incision injection method with a simple cane knife and uh, concentrate applications. And I'm going to make my incisions around these buttress roots of this large tree. And uh, we counted the number of buttresses and there's about seven of them. So we'll make a, a concentrated application of a total of seven milliliters. Just some real simple cuts. We don't have to get too crazy with it. So 
can see how much this specimen dominates the canopy above. Now we're at the original site where two weeks ago we applied milestone with eight and four cut incisions and for all of the treatment plants two weeks later we have 100 percent canopy defoliation and you'll see the light levels that have changed substantially within this test area this area hasn't seen that kind of light in a long time so we'll continue to play this out we're really early but i suspect we're still going in the right direction so i'm back at the monowilly site where we administered a herbicide uh, injection trial on albizia and we are now five weeks after the trial and we looked at three different formulations, 2,4-D uh, in the ester formulation, the triclopyr in the form of Garlon 4 Ultra, and then finally also the Milestone VM, which is the active ingredient aminopyrrolid. All these applications were made with concentrated formulations of the active ingredients and a total of four mls was applied to each of the trees at four incision points and so far at five weeks after we're seeing a dramatic difference among the different treatments where our our best formulation so far has been the milestone where we have complete uh, canopy defoliation our second best is garlon where two out of the four trees that were administered this treatment showed really good results in defoliating the canopy but the other two uh, were um, not showing the same kind of results so there's an inconsistency with the garland for this particular experiment versus milestone across the board showing complete defoliation and then of course 2,4-D uh, showing no canopy defoliation whatsoever showing that 2,4-D is not an act or an effective application in albizia control. So here you can see the differences among the treatments with milestone at the top of the frame showing complete canopy defoliation at five weeks after application. While in the bottom of the frame we show a 2,4-D application showing no level of activity or loss of foliar canopy. As a conditional response to the herbicide, we're also noticing secondary infection, which suggests that these trees are going to have a difficult time recovering. Here we're looking at the bark surface of an untreated specimen, where we have some insect activity, but not at the same level as what we're observing on the herbicide-treated specimens, nor do we see the prevalence of infection points that are common on the treated specimens as well. On this larger specimen where we treated with milestone, we see that in one segment of the canopy we have pretty good defoliation, but if we look at another zone in the canopy, the foliage is still intact suggesting that the herbicide was shuttled away from this zone. Now, if the herbicide is still active and circulating within the vasculature, there's still a chance for this to uh, take effect. Now we're back at the original site where we administered milestone to albizia in eight mil and four mil treatment applications of concentrate. And at 50 days after treatment, we're still seeing complete canopy defoliation and no signs of recovery. So what this tells me is even though we're not quite ready to say that this is a lethal dose, we should consider new experiments to look at lower dose rates, including down to 1 ml of concentrate, and to determine if that is a lethal dose.